The light's going, horror. Keep going. I, my life is a mess. I cannot get my life together. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is an empties video. It's one that has been in the works for a while. I'm very excited about it. But uh, before we start, let's just uh, address the elephant in the room. If you're thinking, hey Gora, what's different? This, my hair is purple. Did I intend to dye it today? No, no I did not. Um, <laughs> I truly thought that the thing that I would have to address in this video was how dark my eyebrows are because I forgot the dye on last night. I forgot that I was that I had the dye on and these are my eyebrows. But no, no, that is not the biggest thing in today's uh, video. Today's video, I have purple hair. Um, so my hair is dyed at the ends and like through the, like it's got some highlights in it. And I use um, purple shampoo most of the time and so I was I have this like deep conditioning mask that I do every Sunday so I was like hey why not make that like a deep conditioning mask but like with purple in it so I just add gentian violet to my shampoo and I was like hey why not do it to my conditioner to make it more like gray toned to make my hair more gray toned when I wash it so I was like what great idea Cara sure so like DIY like go you it dyed my hair purple so I'm just a whole mess. I also happened to drop my phone in the sink of cl thankfully clean water. So I don't have a phone at the moment. M my life is a complete mess. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tie this hair back, pretend like it doesn't exist because that's just what I'm trying to do. And I'm hoping that it's gonna wash out in like a couple days. But I'm chasing the light here because it's already like five o'clock and it gets dark at like half past. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. You're seeing me at my worst, so I'm so sorry <laughs> that I'm such a mess. But um, I really hope that you'll subscribe if you like this video. Anyway, let's get into the empties because I'm excited. So I think we'll start with skincare. Actually, let's start with hair care because I've only got one hair care product. It's not quite finished but it's almost there. It's this, so as you can see, like it's just got the tiniest, tiniest bit left. You only need very little of this for your hair. So basically what this is, it's a glistening arg argan oil. So it moisturizes your hair and it just makes your hair feel like super silky and soft. It is an oil. If you don't like oil, you're not gonna like this. It feels oily and it does make your hair get greasy quicker. But once you've washed your hair after, like after you've put it on and left it on for a little bit, then it makes your hair super soft and just really healthy. It says it's for all hair types. If you have a very oily like hair, if you have very oily hair or a very oily scalp, I wouldn't recommend this because as I said, it does make your hair oily. I don't actually even know if they still sell it anymore. So yeah, I, I'm gonna try buy another thing like this, but I don't think I'll be able to buy this one because I don't know if they still sell it. Let's move on to skincare. The first thing that I finished up, well finished, I've got like a little bit left. I'll show you that just now. It's this Click Skincare Collection Vitamin C and Even Tone Actives Naturally Even Toner. But it says it refines skin and helps to remove residual traces of makeup. I have talked about this before in my skincare review video. So I'll link that up in the eye, whichever side it is. So the reason that I'm not going to be repurchasing this is because it has parabens in it. So I'm not really interested in buying this again just because of that. I really like having toner in my skin in my skincare because it makes me just feel like more put together. It makes me feel like I'm doing my skincare, if you know what I mean. So it just tightens your pores. It makes you feel really nice. Well, I think it makes you feel really nice. And I just really enjoy having it in, in my um, collection. So I think the next one that I'm gonna try is the African Extracts Toner. I'll put a picture of it just here. That one has, I think it has salicylic acid in it, which is really good. Um, but I think I'm gonna try that one out next. So I wouldn't recommend this just because of the parabens, but otherwise, I mean, it's done. And I'll link my skincare video up there. Next skincare thing that I have is this Nivea cream. I like properly like finished this. I like made sure that I finished this. I already have another one of these and I'm already like, I don't know, a quarter of the way through it. I use this every single night as my nighttime cream. It is a super thick, super rich, moisturizing lotion. I love it. It, it's just it makes it makes my skin feel like it's really just like locking in the moisture, and it makes it feel really nice and like plump and hydrated. I really enjoy 
using this and as I said I already have another tub of this it takes me quite a while to go through it I find that this size works perfectly well for me so I really like this it's also super cheap it, like it is like a really cheap moisturizer so I highly recommend it I love it oh we are flying through these wow go, go me okay next skincare thing is this African Extracts Royables Purifying Vanishing Cream with Baobab. I also talked about this in my um, skincare collection video. I also like for real finished this up. This is a vanishing cream. I did not know what that was when I bought it. Um, so I kind of went in blind and I was a little bit surprised by what it was. Um, it's supposed to reduce oiliness and shine and it has Baobab with soothing omega-3 and vitamins. I didn't personally like this because it's supposed to be for super oily skin and I don't have that. It's supposed to mattify your skin and it like sinks in super quickly and stuff um, and it really does mattify your skin. I, I think it works in that way but for my skin type I didn't, I obviously didn't know what it was when I bought it and so like it wasn't the greatest option for me but I think if you do have oily skin this is a great product. It works as it's supposed to, it mattifies and keeps you matte all day and yeah, it's also quite cheap so I can highly recommend this if you do have oily skin. I personally did not enjoy it just because my skin type doesn't mesh well. We are moving on to the makeup portion. No, we still got one skincare. Last thing we have here is this Argan Green Face Night Serum. So this is what it looks like. Um, it actually has stuff in here at the moment because I like reusing the bottles because, I mean, obviously, like, I don't enjoy wasting. The dropper works really nicely. Um, I don't find that it leaks or anything. This particular serum, I ordered off Take A Lot. When I had it, when I used it, it worked really well. Reduces your redness. It makes your skin super hydrated. Um, the ingredients are grape seed oil, carrot seed oil, rosehip fruit oil, wheat germ oil, argan kernel oil, and lemon essential oil. So it's got quite a few, so it does have an essential oil in it. Like if your skin is sensitive to essential oils, I would not recommend this. But for me, it worked absolutely fine. The only thing with this, it's dank. It really does not smell good. Like. I literally, the first couple of times that I wore it, I was like, ugh, like this is so gross. I really didn't, do not like the smell. But once you get over the smell, I can't guarantee that that will happen, but it happened for me. And if you get over the smell, it works really well. And I really did think that it made a difference to my skin when I was using it. And I think that's the last skincare thing that we have. Let's move on to makeup, the exciting things. Okay, I think we're gonna start with the order in which we put things on. So, start with primer. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti Shine Shine Base. I can't say that. Um, this is the Anti Shine Base. Mm, I kind of mentioned my thoughts on this in my last video, so um, I'll link that up in the iron down below. I don't know if it did anything. I mean, I finished it up because I bought it, but I really, I don't think it made a huge difference to the length of wear of my makeup. I don't think it made a difference to my pores. So, I wouldn't really recommend this. They do, they are selling this still um, from Catrice. I'll link the actual one that you can still buy down below. Even when it was new, I didn't find that it did much for my skin. I wouldn't re really recommend this. But if you do like it and it works for you, keep using it, like seriously. I'm just one person, like don't take my word as law. I've really missed filming guys, like seriously, I've been writing exams lately um, and for university and it's literally like I've missed filming so much and I miss just like editing and like sitting in front of the camera and talking about makeup. So I'm glad to be back. I'm excited to be here, I hope you are. Okay, next thing is foundation. So the foundation that I finished up is the Essence stay all day 16 hour long lasting makeup. I got the shade 20 soft nude. Mm, I think this is, this foundation is fine. I think if you don't want like full full coverage then it works well. I don't think it lasts 16 hours or at least it didn't on me. And I also bought a shade that is orange on my skin. I, I didn't really enjoy this foundation just it's kind of like a moussey texture. Let's see if I can get some out. 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a thicker liquid kind of vibe. I don't really know how to describe it. I would describe it as moussey, but um, it's kind of like a thicker liquid. That foundation, yeah, as I said, if you like like a medium, I would say like me buildable medium coverage, it literally was orange on me. Like I had to blend it down all into my shirt. So I wouldn't buy that again just because it says it's waterproof. It has like a little sticker there that says waterproof. And I really don't think it is. Um, I played hockey in this and I like was on campus in the rain in this and it didn't really hold up the way I wanted it to. I needed my foundation to stay on and it just didn't do the trick for me. Um, if it works for you, great, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, this is feeling very negative, hey? Shoo! The next thing we're talking about is brows. No, that's not true. Next thing we're talking about is concealer. I have this Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. It's the 12 hour one. I have it in the shade... 020 light beige. This is a decent concealer. It looks really nice under the eyes. I wouldn't say it's like high, high coverage. I would say it's about, again, medium buildable because I could still see my dark circles under my eyes when I put it on. Like, I really enjoy the formula. It's a nice formula. It does stay pretty well. I just wanted to try something new because, like, obviously I want to be able to try things out for my channel and stuff. I didn't buy it again. I would buy it again, like, in the future. I think it's a decent concealer and it covers a decent amount but yeah I would recommend this okay now we're going into the brows I have finished up two of these pencils the essence super last 24 hour eyebrow pomade pencil this is the only eyebrow pencil that I use I really like it a lot of people don't but I love it I think it works really well for me it works well for what I need I have another one that I'm almost finished already I really love this thing I do think I'm gonna be trying something new just because why not? I really enjoy using this. I think I might actually even try getting a shade, the sh darker shade, which is like brown, I think. Sorry, my dogs are barking, so I had to go get them in and I just put on some lip gloss. Um, everything that's on my face that I'm wearing right now, I'll either list or link down in the description box below. So if you wanna know what I'm wearing, then check it out. Cool, let's move on to mascara. I have three mascaras that I have finished. We have this one from Revlon. It's the volume and length magnified mascara. I flip and love this. It is so good. It's like the perfect everyday mascara. If you just want your lashes to look like just like a little bit fluttery and just like so that you can see that they're there but it's not like you know fake lashes. This is just absolutely gorgeous. It's more of a drier formula, so that kind of threw me off because the only ones that I tried before that was Essence, but it kind of threw me off the fact that it was a drier formula because Essence formulas are usually a little bit more wet, but it's so nice. And because it's a dry formula, it doesn't take as long to dry. So I, you could literally like throw this on like literally two minutes before you walked out the door and it does not smudge or flake on me. I think I probably will repurchase this in the future. I'm just going through a mascara at the moment, so I don't want another one. This is really good. If you just, if you're just one of those people who just wants an everyday kind of vibe, this is what you should get. The next one I used up was this Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour curl and hold mascara. Oh, I didn't show you the wand of this last one. It's a really nice wand. Um, it is a little bit of a bigger wand, a thicker wand, but it's, it's so nice at separating. It just like lengthens completely. But this one, the wand is a little bit interesting. I think obviously it's because it's a curling like mascara. It's this interesting shape where it's shorter on the one side and then longer on the other side. It like works to like push your lashes up. I just realized that I filmed this whole video and I haven't put any mascara on. Oh my gosh, that's much better. Ooh. So I've just put on the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the one in the green tube. I'm so unprofessional, wow. Not that this is my profession. <laughs> this is the Curl and Hold Mascara, as I was saying. Um, I didn't like it as much as I liked the one in the purple tube, which I'm gonna talk about just now. The purple tube one, I think, holds better. Like, it lasts for longer. This one, I did, like, when it got wet, and my eyes water quite a bit. Like, I, I have very watery eyes just because I wear contact. My eyes are sensitive to light, so I think the purple one is better because it didn't run when 
I don't know, it got wet and stuff, so I would recommend the purple one over this one. But this one holds a curl really nicely and it like pushes your lashes up. So that for that I would say this is a pretty decent mascara. I think Essence does make better ones. It's fine, it's alright. Then we have the Essence Volume Stylist. Before the Lash Princess, this was Essence's fav best mascara. It was my favorite. This is the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with length lengthening fibers. Before the Lash Princess, this was it. Man, I tell you, it lasts for Ever. Like even with the Lash Princess, I'm finding that it smudges a little bit, like it, it transfers a little bit onto my upper lash line. I think I might even go back to this one after using that one. But this one is phenomenal. It stays forever, like you can barely get it off when you're washing your face. That's how long it stays. Like damn, like this is just a really good mascara. The wand looks like this. Um, and I think that's part of the reason why it lengthens so much. It's got like a, a reverse hourglass shape. So if an hourglass shape goes like that, this goes out and then back in. So if you want that like doe-eyed, wide awake kind of look, I would go for a wand that looks like this. But I really, really stand by this one. Last thing, we, whew, we flew through this with very many bumps along the way. But the last thing that I have is this Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I talked about this in my last video, so as you can see it has stuff in it. This is, the stuff in it is not actually fixing spray, it's actually this toner. So I use this during my skincare routine, I just spray it all over my face. I use it after I've done all my powders as a setting spray to more melt in the powders than make it long lasting. It kind of just makes it all melt into my skin and look really like nice and fresh. And the spray on this is super fine. Very directed though, so don't hold it too close. But it just, it makes my makeup look more like skin. The actual setting spray that came in this I really liked y'all. Like it was so good. You only get 15 mils. So you don't get much and I find that it goes really quickly which is why I was less inclined to buy another one. It's kind of like an extra step in my makeup and I'm kind of like, mm, do I need it? The actual product makes your skin so dewy. It helps it last. It's, it is a phenomenal setting spray. So I really, get, if you want it, I really do recommend it. Whoo! Need some water after that. That is it, guys. I feel like we should have a last sneak peek of how bad this looks. Oh, it looks so bad. Just look at that. It's so patchy. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it kind of gave you some insight into like what I'm buying again, what I haven't bought again, what I won't buy again, and like help you when you may be deciding what to buy and stuff. If you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate if you clicked the like button and subscribed so that you can see more of my videos in the future and hopefully less messy ones. I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.